I'm Song Kyung Longast. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make classic beef chow fan. Haven't shared the noodle recipe enough? Never! I don't know about you, but I prefer noodles over rice, so I mean, that's just me. If you're like me, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below say hashtag I'm with you. Okay, so let's get started. First, we are going to marinate our beef. I'm using beef chuck, but you can use any cut of beef that you'd like to use. Just prepare eight ounce and slice into quarter inch thick. Into the beef, add one teaspoon of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking wine. I will put the link down below where you can find online or you can just use a dry sherry instead. One teaspoon of cornstarch. It will keep all the moisture of the beef. Quarter teaspoon of baking soda. By now, you all know this is my secret or all the Chinese restaurant secret how to make their meat so succulent and tender and silky like texture. This is it guys, this is the secret and I'm very sorry all the Chinese restaurant owners but we've got to know too, right? Lastly, 8 teaspoon of white pepper. You can use a black pepper too if you want. Give it a good mix with chopstick because this is Asian at home. Mix with chopstick, okay? Now set aside and let it marinate about 5 to 10 minutes and this is perfect timing to prepare other ingredients which is make the sauce and chopping some vegetables. To make the sauce, add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce into a small mixing bowl along with 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking wine, 1 and half teaspoon of sugar, 8 teaspoon of white pepper or black pepper, and 2 tablespoons of water. Mix it thoroughly and the sauce is done. Set aside and let's chop up some vegetables. You will need about two to three cloves of garlic, finely chopped, around one ounce of ginger, also finely chopped, four ounce of Chinese garlic chive, cut into one and a half to two inch long pieces. Sun Kyung, it's really hard to find garlic chive where I live. No worries, you can use green onion instead. Okay, that's totally fine. The last vegetable is 4 ounces of bean sprouts. Alright, everything is done. Let's talk about the noodles. Chao Fan is known for their succulent, tender, silky like rice noodles. And if you are lucky enough, you can go to your local Asian grocery store and you can find these fresh Chao Fan noodles. If you cannot find the fresh Chao Fan noodles, no worries, I have a solution for you. So go ahead and get a dried rice noodles, the widest dried rice noodles that you can get either online, obviously I'm gonna put the link down below, or at your regular grocery store Asian food section. And soak them in warm water for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is like a Pad Thai cooking skill, but it also works for this recipe as well. But in this case, if you are using dry noodles, go ahead and add a about two tablespoons to four tablespoons more water when you start frying, okay? Now heat the wok over high heat because we are ready to walk and roll. I know it's so cheesy. So anyways, add a two tablespoon of cooking oil along with chopped garlic and ginger. Stir fry about 30 seconds to one minute until the garlic and ginger infuse their flavor to the oil. Before they're turning into brown, we are going to quickly add the marinade beef. Spread them evenly to the wok and sear the one side about 2 to 3 minutes. Flip them over and cook another 2 to 3 minutes or until the beef is 3 quarter way cooked and nice golden edges. It's time to add the noodles and the sauce. And toast, toast, toast and stir fry away until noodles got softened and fully cooked and absorb all the delicious sauces. Finally, add the bean sprouts and the chai and toast it again. Do not toast more than one minute on the heat because you want the bean sprouts to still crunch and the garlic chive has still the nice green color. Remove from heat, transfer to a serving plate and garnish it with some sesame seeds right on top. As always, Mm. 
Qingdao. Is that is that right? Qingdao. Qingdao. Uh, how about you say the Chinese beer? I need a bottle of that right now. Mm. Mm. And if you want to make some spicy, like a little sriracha, I will add sriracha a little bit here. Oh, it's going to be so good with some sriracha too. Mm -hmm. Sriracha, sriracha. Mm. That's right. Sriracha goes amazing with this right now. More and more. Oh, I love spicy food. If you like my beef chow fun recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Hong Kong Longast, and this is Asian at Home. And I'll see you next time.